You know, COVID-19 has forced many Middle Tennessee couples to cancel their weddings, costing some of them thousands of dollars. As the pandemic continues, more may be forced to scale back plans for their big day. New Channel 5's Emily Luxon talked with one couple about their frustrations and how they made the most of the situation. Newlyweds Wade and Cassie Morrow are enjoying their new life together even while quarantined. It's going really well two weeks in and, and today's our two week anniversary. But their wedding day didn't go as planned, courtesy of COVID-19. Plan A was uh, to be married this past Saturday. That was April 4th. Three weeks before their wedding, the Scarrett Bennett Center notified them the event was canceled due to CDC recommendations for large gatherings. We were told initially that we would be getting a 0% refund. It was it was either um, reschedule or cancel with no refund. And so that obviously did not sit well with us. Wade says the contract they signed with the Scarrett Bennett Center stated if a customer canceled the event, they would be forced to forfeit their money. However, it did not specify a policy if the venue canceled the event. Wade believes they should get a full refund, but officials at the Scarrett Bennett Center disagree. 40% was the final total. We have yet to receive that check, but we think it's coming. Wade says challenging the center's decision in court would be too costly. He encourages other couples to read contracts carefully because he may never know what happened to the other 60% of their money. So when we requested a detailed receipt of what they, the work they'd already performed, we didn't get that back. Um, they, they said that they don't do that, which was kind of shocking. Instead of the dream day they planned for months, Wade and Cassie moved on to plan B and were married in front of less than 10 people while family members watched via Skype. We tried to remember what was the most important, which was that we got married. Um, that, that was the most important thing. And while COVID-19 may have changed their plans, the result was still a day they will remember for the rest of their lives. Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.